watching one of my videos. My name is Stephanie, and we're, today we're going to be doing just this beautiful um, brown smoky look. Um, it's perfect for New Year's. I've just been practicing, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to look like for New Year's to bring in 2019, girl. So I came up with this brown smoky eyelid, and it came out so cute. Um, what, what I'm doing now is I'm just prepping our eyelids. I used the color natural from the um, Tarte Shade Tape, and I just packed that on. Today's palette, well the first palette we're going to use is a um, warm brown obsession palette from Huda Beauty. And we're using that nice orange color just to start building up the intensity of our look. Normally when I do brown smoky eyes, I normally just honestly just do strictly browns. And it's like two browns, if that. Um, and I just like work it all over the crease. Brown smoky eyes are like the easiest thing to do. But I decided to add a little <laughs> flare or whatever. Trying to be cute or whatever. Now we're going to go into this brick color that's right next to the first orange color we were using. And we're just going to start working that into the crease where we put the um, the orange at it first. Just um, to just build up the intensity of the color. I had a little dimension, girl. My bad, y'all. I was watching Family Guy while doing makeup and it was a joke was funny. So now we're going to switch palettes and we're going to go into the Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this color that we're using is Dystopian. Um, Dystopia, whatever, girl. However, then, you know, they be saying it. But anyway, we're going to really just focus it strictly into the actual crease, like the actual, like, socket of the eye. That's really where I want to focus it at. Um, just to give a kind of, like, layered effect between the orange, the brick, and then now the dark brown. And we're just going to just really focus at the very bottom. Now we're going to go into Twig, and I start working this onto my eyelid. As you can see when you look at the picture, like, Twig looks so beautiful brown, and I just thought it was going to be just, yes, this was going to be just it, girl, but no. When you, you can see me looking, I'm like, uh, sis, this ain't, so, this ain't it. So I go in with this color from the Sultry palette, and I just start adding that um, on top of Twig, and starting to try to blend that out, and just make it a more of a brown color. And once I finally get the color how I want it, I just start packing it on. And I go above the actual eyelid. I go, I work it into um, dystopian as well, just to make sure that all of it is, um, you know, blended together or whatever, girl. And now we're going to just take a clean blending brush and we're just going to blend all of those colors together. And voila, magic. Ooh, you so cute, girl. I went and got my pulling my lashes on. Um, these are from like the beauty supply store, so that's why I didn't show them. Um, but now I'm taking Macchiato um, from Huda Beauty, the um, faux filter, no filter foundation. Um, this is my first time ever using it. And um, sis, why y'all didn't tell me about this before? Because I am loving this foundation. I even love the smell of it. Um, I'm going to first blend this in with the stippling brush just to put it where I want it to. And then I go in with a um, Morphe Damp sponge and I start packing that into the um, to the face. I like to use a brush first and then the sponge just because the brush doesn't actually take all the product. Whereas if you just use strictly just a sponge, you're going to have to keep adding product because of course the sponge is going to soak it up. No matter how wet you get it, the sponge is still going to soak up the, um, the foundation. So now for highlight, I'm using this um, the Huda Beauty um, found, um, not foundation concealer as well. This is in the color Sugar Biscuit. Um, I'm using a brush again. Um, now this is the most tedious part of the entire look, girl. When I tell you, I was sitting here blending for days, like blending for days. Um, I first packed the color exactly where I wanted to. This, this consistency is really thick, guys. Um, so you don't really need a lot. A little goes a really long way, which is why I only did those two streaks. Um, and then I add a little bit more to my um, forehead. And then I'm just really just blending in with the brush because I want to make sure I get it exactly where I want it, especially in the waterline, um, just because the sponge is a little big around the, um, the eye. And I don't have any mini, mini ones anymore. My cat ate them. So we're just going to just blend that in exactly where we want it to with the brush and just make sure everything's cool. And then we go in with the same brush we use for our foundation to make sure everything is blended together and then everything just becomes one clean canvas of highlighted and regular. Now 
Now, come on, here to beauty. One more time for the one time. I'm using banana bread, um, the yellow baking powder. Um, I'm taking a brush because um, I couldn't find my sponge at first, the sponge that I normally use for my powders. And we're going to actually bake because I really want to see how it looked baked. Um, I'm just going to pack that on. And girl, this smells so good. I really love this powder. And then I found this sponge, y'all. And then I packed that onto the places. And while I'm baking, I'm using Debutante, the uh, bronzer from Morphe uh, Brushes. And we're just going to start bronzing up our face, bringing a little color back to our face. So I'm using um, just a Real Techniques contour brush. Um, I do the um, hollows of my cheeks so we can get some dimension. So this round pumpkin face ain't round no more, girl. Got to be snatched, honey. And then I add a little bit underneath my lips to give it that plumpness. And then we got to hide this double chin, girl. Now, I tried something new because um, normally I use the big brush to contour my nose. But I wanted to really concentrate and actually like see how snatched I can get this nose. Even though my little Who from Whoville nose really don't need that much snatching. Um, I just wanted to try it. So I'm using a, just a smaller, I think it's a M550 brush from Morphe. And we contoured our nose. And it looks good, girl. I really like it. And we're just going to set our, um, our bronzer now. And then I let everything sit for like five minutes and now and then I dusted it away. So don't think I just put it on there and then poop. No. No, girl. Your sis like the bait. So I'm just pushing it all in two. And y'all, this stuff blends so well with my skin. This powder. Like, I am really loving this powder. Normally, I have to like add a face powder. Um, cause your girl thinks she won the drags, honey. Like, she just be packing on all this kind of powder. But it really blended out well. I didn't even need powder. And now just to go ahead and rouge our face, um, I'm using, um, Orgasm by, um, NARS, as you can see. And I'm just gonna, um, add a little color, girl. And then I go back in with Dystopian and, um, smoke out my waterline. Now I'm just adding my favorite mascara. You can add whatever mascara you want to use. This time I'm using, um, Lancome, uh, Monsoor Big, um, mascara. And now, after we set our face with the All Nighter Spray, I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything so I can look like I glow in the dark, honey. And we're just going to highlight where we normally highlight. And now for lips, which is like my favorite part of this whole look, um, I use my um, NYX Cosmetics uh, Liner in uh, Espresso to go ahead and line my lips. And then I also filled in my lips because I really wanted a nice dark brown. And I couldn't find my brown liquid lipstick. So then I added Goals by Kylie Cosmetics. At first I was going to use the middle, but then I was like, girl, this is cute or whatever. So I added it to the whole lips and then I relined the lips. And let's just go ahead and give it to these slow mos Yes, ma'am, honey. I was feeling myself. Who is she? I am her. She is me. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And check the description bar down below. I shall see you, honeys, in 2019. Bye, guys. Mwah.